Hey guys, Seb here. I'm the Associate Development Test Lead on Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Today we're extremely excited to welcome you to our open beta. During this period, you'll be able to explore the region of Itaqua, the initial drop zone in the Ghost Recon Wildlands story, which contains hours of main missions and activities. As an exclusive for this open beta, we also decided to unlock the beautiful yet dangerous province of Montuyo. Be prepared for a real challenge. Ghost Recon Wildlands is entirely playable solo or co-op of the four players, so please don't hesitate to invite your friends to explore our world. Also, you can connect to the Ghost Recon network to follow the latest news on the game and create your own task force. On behalf of the whole development team, thanks a lot for your interest and support. Ghost Recon Wildlands will be available on March 7, 2017. In the meantime, share your best moments with us by using the dedicated hashtag. We'll see you in the field. Good luck, ghosts. Sir, yes, sir! Seizure warning. Got that. English. English. Let's do it. Thank you for participating in the Ghost Recon Wildlands Open Beta. Bienvenidos a Bolivia. During the Open Beta, you'll be able to explore Itaqua, Itaqua and Montioc, two of the 21 provinces ooh, in the game's massive open world. Become a ghost. Create your own character, then lead a team of four ghosts playing either in solo or with up to three of your friends online. Take the cartel down. Go after the, the Santa Blanca cartel and take down... Itaqua and Montiel's famous, infamous Bochons. Interact with all in-game factions to help with the rebels or turn Unidad against the cartel. Pre-order now, pre-order now, or visit your local retailer to receive the exclusive Peruvian contract mission. Okay, important notes. Tom Clancy is still in active development, but you may be on to access full combat during the open beta. Maintenance may also occur during this period. Pre-release test game, Ubisoft, Microsoft may maybe not be able to provide support for duration of the test. Internet connection required to access single player or co-op mods. Go required to, yep, okay, got it. Where's my glasses? I think they're out in my car. Maximum. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Ugh. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. <laughs> they're narco terrorists. Today, they're narco terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed Unidad, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. Ooh. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. Okay. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. 
Production. Smuggling. Security. And influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes. Boss, boss of bosses. Of bosses. El Sueño. Okay. Kingpin needs to die real quick. Okay. So, kills friend of high-ranking DEA official, calls the ghosts, we murk them in the head. This is why you don't piss off the U.S. We have people. Mail. Head. Murphy. Walker. Eagle. Beetle. Rock. Mason. Blade. Foxy. Snake! We'll go with... Beetle. Eye color. Brown. Facial hair. Lumberjack. Business beard. The goatee. The trucker. The chevron. We'll go with the goatee. Pretty handsome devil if I say so myself. Squared away. Shaved. Ponytail. Undercut. Shaggy. Mohawk! Cornrows. Let's go with cornrows, because that's cool. Hair color, black. Oh yeah. Facial detail, razor slash. Eye scar, nah. Bump. Burn, eh, none. Appearance. Body details. Facial paint. Screaming Eagle. Santa Murete. Commando. Nah. Ooh, Santa Maria. Ooh. Wow, that is really cool. Traditional sleeve. Traditional detail. Die Steve Die Sleeve Sapper Nah none of that looks cool Flag and Eagle Battle Flag and Eagle Chimera Piety Traditional Skull Traditional Detailed Battlefield Cross me familia. Ghostly skull. Yeah, he's a ghost. Close. Cry a combat shirt? Nah. Hoodie? Okay, let's get rid of this for a second. Heavy IBA. IBA. 511 TAC plate carrier. Mobile harness. None. No, nah, dude needs to have something to put all that gear on. Okay. Long sleeve shirt. Short sleeve shirt. Double layer t shirt. A polo? What are you, fucking prep? Business casual. Tank top. T shirt. King La Yama's t shirt. Santa Blanca t shirt. 
Ghost Recon Network t-shirt. Morning fans. A fleece. Striped hoodie. Jacket. Let's go with... I think we're in a... Uh, a kind of a tropical environment. We'll go with a short sleeve shirt. Because this dude doesn't want to get hot. Cargo C. Cargo B. Precision Combat. Some jeans. No knee pads. 5.1 Tactical. Okay. Mm. Gilly Strands. Apex C. Let's go with... Oh, I like snakeskin. Dude, stylish. Footwear, hiking boots. Work boots. Combat boots. Hiking boots. Let's get some combat boots. He's got he's to stomp some fools out. Ghillie suits. Compact. Camo netting. Strands. Woodsman. Nah, doesn't need any of that. Accessories, eyewear, bullet ant gloves, eye patch, <laughs> Oakley straight jacket, ballistic M frames, gold sunglasses, plastic sunglasses, aviators, ballistic goggles. Yeah, it needs need some glasses. Oh, I can change the colors. Multicam clear. Face wear. Just mega. Half face mask. Ballistic face mask. Gas mask. DM scarf. Skull bandana. Bandana. One whole balaclava, two whole balaclava. I like that. Headwear, carbon high cut helmet. <laughs> Leather. Patrol cap, boonie hat, duck bill. Bolivia, Santa Blanca, GR Network, Multicam, Nomad, Recruit, Baseball Cap Backwards, Baseball Cap, uh, we'll go with this, or no, he's something he, the sun out of his eyes, but he's gonna be, like he came out of the 90s, so, and we all like snakeskin, hold on one second, Phone just went off. Okay, headset, headset A, headset B. Let's stick with the earpiece. You gotta keep your ears open here. Handwear. Kevlar gloves. Fingerless Kevlar. Nomex. I'll go with fingerless. This guy's gonna be able to hold a motorcycle. Backpack! All Hazards Prime. Camel Pack! Standard issue. Y strap. Let's go with a camera. Let's can you something to put that stuff in? I like drone. Yeah, he's a techie guy. I'm a techie guy. Gonna get along just fine. 
Special outfits at zero. Set one. Okay. Set two. Set three. Set four. T-shirt and some jeans. Meant to not stand out. Let's do it! Let's go advance, because we're not pussies!